Sunday's massacre in Las Vegas is stirring up many questions regarding safety throughout the country. Coming up, we'll let you know if Tech students are feeling secure on the campus in the wake of another tragedy. Students looking for options to continue their coursework in another country had an easy way to get tons of information all in one place. MCTV's Katie Main has all the details on yesterday's study abroad fair next. And the Red Raider football team is getting ready to hit the road for their showdown with Kansas. MCTV's Casey Busher has a preview of Saturday's game in sports. This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to the Thursday edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. I'm Anthony Rodriguez. And I'm Uvia Bicomo. This past Sunday, a gunman opened fire on the 91 Harvest Music Festival in Las Vegas, killing 58 people and injuring more than 500. Although the tragedy happened almost 1,000 miles away, the effects of the shooting are still being felt right here in Lubbock. That's right, Uvia. Whether or not you knew anyone involved in the shooting, Sunday's massacre has caused most students to think twice about their safety in public places, including right here on the Tech campus. Hearing about Las Vegas, my main reaction was just how I feel pointless it all is, how vulnerable we all are. And the worst part about it was hearing that a fellow, like former friend of mine, got shot herself that I haven't talked to in years. And then hearing her, like hearing someone I actually know was involved in tragedy like this really hit me. So. Possibly that being said, if anything, I feel this is a wake-up call to, I guess, up security. I don't actually feel all that safe on campus. I know um, as a resident living in the dorms and as a CA, I often see a lot of people that can just walk into a building um, despite needing like a key card access. Um, there would be plenty of times where I have to kick people out that should not be in there and have no reason to be in there. I feel safe because there's the, the on-campus emergency services are very quick to react. I think if there was a situation where they needed to, you know, react. I feel pretty safe on campus. I think we have a lot of security measures like the blue light and um, our police force that would keep us safe. Um, I feel pretty safe on campus um, just because um, I, I feel safe with the security um, and also feel safe that um, with people being able to conceal carry, um, if something like that would happen, um, that the citizens will be able to take it into their own hands and handle the situation. Um, so I, I feel pretty safe. I feel like campus isn't actually as safe as we might think it is all the time. I always feel safe on campus because it's a college campus, but it's more of a, it's a reminder that anything can happen. In other news, students looking for a way to continue their college education outside of Lubbock were given a lot of options yesterday at a special event. MCTV's Katie Main joins us in the studio with all the details. Katie? That's right, Anthony and UVA. Yesterday, I went out to the study abroad fair to learn more about the opportunities available for tech students to travel to another country to earn course credit or complete an internship while being immersed in another culture. I was impressed by how many countries and regions were represented as well as the number of courses and programs offered. The Office of International Affairs held the study abroad fair in the sub ballroom from 10 to 3 on Wednesday. Students of all majors had the opportunity to speak with representatives from various programs to learn more information about study abroad options. We, we visit some of the temples in Vietnam, the institutions there, uh, cultural museums as well as the military museums, and we travel the entire country. So we start in northern Vietnam and make our way all the way down to the Mekong Delta. Our students typically come back thinking and understanding a little bit more about how important our system of government is, our economic systems, it really is a, a very different experience. The food is amazing, the people love Americans, and so it's a, it's a very friendly kind of environment for our students, and it changes their lives. Students spoke with faculty, trip leaders, and student returnees about summer, semester, or even year-long courses and internships offered abroad. Representatives said studying abroad is something all students should take a part of. There are options available for every major with financial aid easily accessible. Our organization is a nonprofit. We've been around since 1982, and we partner with universities across the country to offer study abroad programs all over the world. We offer specific programs to different majors, so every major here at Tech can study abroad. Once you leave college and get involved in your career and get involved in your life, it's, it gets harder and harder to get away for something like this. So having it built right into your academic career um, is a great way to do it. Whether a student wants to go for two weeks um, and go with a faculty member or whether they want to go for a full year. And there's a lot of money out there as well for scholarships and financial aid. So if you think that you can't afford it, make sure you come and talk with someone before you write it off. If you didn't make it to the fair or want more information about earning credit abroad, contact the Study Abroad office at 806-742-3667. Katie Main, MCTV. 
And again, if you want the once in a lifetime opportunity to study abroad, you can get more information by stopping by the Office of International Affairs or checking out their website at ttu.edu slash international. Back to you, Uvier. Thanks, Katie. The study abroad office weren't the only ones hosting a special event at the sub this week. Another campus group set up shop in several locations to bring awareness to an important topic. Each day this week, Red to Black Peer Financial, Financial Coaching hosted several events to celebrate the annual Financial Education Week. On Tuesday, Red to Black set up a table across from Barnes & Nobles to hand out pig stress balls to students passing by. They also encouraged students to enter the Don't Let the Finances Stress You Out social media contest, which included a special prize package for the winner. Red to Black is using all of this week's okay. events to help students learn how to better manage their money. Finances are important for lots of different reasons. Um, the stress component that we're bringing in today is huge because we have shown that students that come and visit with us have a significant lower level of stress after they speak with one of the peer financial coaches. Um, stress, financial stress can really take a toll on all aspects of your life and if you don't have that under control then you can see um, a significant influence going on. Financial Education Week wrapped up this afternoon at the Sub, but Red to Black offers financial coaching throughout the year as free service to students. For more information on Red to Black Pair Financial Coaching, visit their website at r2b.ttu.edu. It's been another gloomy week here on the South Plains. After the sun finally made its return on Monday, we've seen overcast conditions and light rain over the rest of the week. That's true, Uvia. After seeing more than two inches of rain last week, most students were hoping that the clouds and wet weather had finally left the area. So will we see a return of the clear skies anytime soon? Let's take a look at the MCTV forecast. The Memorial Circle Cam is showing cloudy skies again today. We haven't had rain since yesterday afternoon, but the humidity has stayed above 60% throughout the day. Temperatures are also pretty warm today, with highs predicted to reach 80 degrees before sunset. Overnight, temperatures will fall into low 60s and the clouds will slowly begin to move out of the area. Tomorrow, we should finally see a return of the sun and skies will be clear by mid-afternoon. Tuesday's highs will be in the mid-80s with a light winds. After sunset, a storm system will move back into the area and we could see thunderstorms into late evening. But after midnight, the system will move out and the skies will be clear, allowing temperatures to drop into the mid-50s. On Saturday, we'll see Sunny skies and mild conditions with temperatures back into the mid-70s. Clear skies will stick around throughout the evening and that will allow temperatures to drop even lower around 50 degrees. On Sundays, clear skies and warm temperatures will stay in the forecast with a high in the low 80s. Overnight, we'll see a rebound in temperatures with lows falling just below 60 degrees. On Monday, we'll see a repeat of the weekend conditions with sunny skies and mild conditions. Winds will be slightly breezy and, highs and high temperatures will climb into the upper 60s. Monday night, clear conditions will stay in the forecast, but we'll also see lows drop into the upper 40s for the first time this fall. Fall-like conditions will continue to stay in the forecast on Tuesday as temperatures will only reach into the mid-60s. Overnight, temperatures will remain cool with lows again predicting in the upper 40s. On Wednesday, we'll see a return of some clouds in the area and a high of around 60 degrees. Overnight, the clouds will stick around and temperatures will fall off slightly below the mid-50s. Looking ahead, temperatures will rebound into the 70s as we head into the weekend. It's week six in college football, and the Texas Tech Red Raiders are still recovering from a tough loss last week at the Jones. MCTV's Casey Busher is in the studio with a look at, back at last week's game and a preview of what's next. Casey? Thanks, Anthony and UVA. This past weekend, Texas Tech football played a hard-fought game against number 15, Oklahoma State. Falling 41-34, to this game made history as the lowest scoring meeting of the Cowboys and the Red Raiders. One of the best highlights from the game was from Demarcus Fields. Fields returned an interception at 95 yards for Texas Tech's first points. Fields' play was Tech's longest interception return for a touchdown since 1962. Wide receiver Kiki Kuti, who entered the weekend in the nation's top five in a variety of categories, compiled 114 all-purpose yards before leaving the game due to an injury in the third quarter. Entering the fourth, the Raiders trailed 34-20, but one-yard touchdown plunges from Justin Stockton and Desmond Nisby tied the game with 9.56 in the fourth, but that wasn't enough to come up with the victory. 
Freshman defensive back DeMarcus Fields was recognized as the Big 12 Newcomer of the Week on Monday following his remarkable game against Oklahoma State. Make sure to tune in this Saturday to watch the Red Raiders take on the Kansas Jayhawks in Lawrence. Coverage starts at 11 a.m. on FS1. Last night in Norman, the Texas Tech volleyball team fell short to the Oklahoma Sooners 3-0. Keenan, Hill, and Atwood all finished the game with 10 kills. Volleyball is now 1-3 in Big 12 play and 12-5 12 overall. This Saturday, Tech is on the road again to Manhattan, hoping to come out with the victory against Kansas State. October means that NBA season is back in action. Preseason is kicking off with the league, and luckily, the Dallas Mavericks are sitting at 3-0 with what many are saying is the biggest deal in the draft, Dennis Smith Jr. After being selected ninth overall on draft night, he averaged 12 points per game so far in the preseason. Looking forward to see how the young player makes a name in the big league. The Dallas Cowboys fell to the Los Angeles Rams this past Saturday, 35-30 at Jerry World's. After coming off a four-win season, Jared Goff and Todd Gurley the past four weeks have proved that their offense is the real deal as they lead the NFL in scoring. Finishing the game 20 of 36 for 252 yards with three touchdowns, Dak Prescott said following the game, we're not going to lose confidence. We feel like we're getting better. Even a loss, we're going to find a way to get better. This Sunday, the Cowboys take on the Green Bay Packers at home. Kickoff is set for 3.25 p.m. You can tune in on Fox. That's all for sports. Back to you, UVA. Thanks, Casey. The, the ability to hear is something many of us take for granted in our daily lives, but tonight you can take part in a unique event that may help you appreciate what you have. Let's take a look at MCTV's event calendar. Texas Tech Students Disability Services will be hosting Deaf Bingo tonight in the Walgate Residential Hall lobby from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Enjoy a game of bingo with one catch. No words will be spoken. All of the letters drawn during the game will be announced to the audience through sign language. Participants have a chance to win giveaways and learn more about deaf ed education. Deaf Bingo is part of Disability Awareness Week. For more information about tonight's event and Disability Awareness Week, visit the website listed on your screen. Tomorrow night, head downtown to enjoy free food, drinks, and lots of art. The October edition of the First Friday Art Trail will be held tomorrow from 6 to 9 p.m. Various galleries will be featured on this month's trail, including a special installation at the Lewis Hopkins Underwood Center for the Arts Graffiti Building. That installation will include works by various students, faculty, and staff with disabilities in honor of Disability Awareness Week. For more information on this month's trail, visit FFAT.org. And once you finish up downtown, head back to campus to catch a recent blockbuster for free. The Student Activity Board will be screening Despicable Me 3 during this week's late night movie series. Despicable Me 3 continues the story of Gru, his daughters, and notorious minions as Gru meets his long lost twin brother for the first time. Sab's late night movie is scheduled to start at 10 p.m. in the Sub Escondido the Theater. Admission is free with a Texas Tech ID. So, Uvia, you planning to stop by the art trail this weekend? You know, I just might. What about you? Yeah, I might too. I'm a pretty big art guy, so you never know. That's all for today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Thanks so much for joining us, and be sure to check out ttuhub.net every, every day for more news. We'll see you next week.